Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the 1992. This is quite an elusive figure, this is known as Fly Up. So although he is of course the Blades mould, you can tell that straight away. He's got a very different colour scheme, it's not a bootleg, it's original figure. I'm going to be discussing that in a second. We're going to be comparing him with his original one self. We'll have a very quick look at the box, nothing too long because that's got their own review. And again I'll show you the fact that it would have been great if he'd have been released individually as well. So before we get any further, I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel, feel like to hit that subscribe button for me now, please, because it really will help me out. Right, so the box is beautiful. The box came out in 1992. These figures only came out in 1992. They didn't come individually released at all, unfortunately. They are just all complete straight up redecos of the Defense Saw bots. Um, and again, the funny thing is, I've said this in all the other videos, and I'm going to keep saying it, that probably one of the main reasons why this is so elusive, I've also noticed an error on the box, that's not his weapon. Um, why? And in fact, I think that... Is that red or is that orange? Maybe that is orange. But I think the main reason, again, why this is so elusive is because they look like KOs. And a lot of people, and a lot of people have got horror stories where they saw these on shelves and just left them because they thought they were KOs, but they actually weren't. Um, and these are now some of the rarest figures from the Japanese, or in fact, from the Generation 1 continuity because they were released in 1992 under the Operation Combination toy line. If you want to see the video of me combining this figure up, taking each individual figure out of the box you're welcome to have a look at that that's already uploaded here and in honesty i thought that would be the only time i'd be doing it but it's because i'm doing the a to z um, i've had to break guard city down into into individual bots so i could so i thought while they're in, already broken down i might as well do individual reviews as well i've also done a video on this beautiful flyer which is of course the toy line that was available in 1992 in japan Right, let's look at the figure then, and it is, it's just blades, just with a different colour. So the great thing is the rotor blades work on it. I think the blue works way better with the um, Autobot logo there. Now, the weapons are exactly the same, to be honest. They're no different. Uh, they are even the same colour. Um, I've got them in the box, but again, I don't want to keep opening and closing that particular box. So I'm just going to attach the standard Hasbro ones on, just so you can see how it looks and I think it works well perhaps they could have changed the colors on the accessories a bit but um, I think by the time we got to 1992 obviously they were saving as much money as possible and perhaps didn't want to use or perhaps these could have even been left over I don't really know uh, but yeah they were trying, trying to save as much money as they could uh, that's why we got loads and loads of redecos right let's have a look at him um, into his right I don't normally do transformation processes um, on the video but because this is as simple as it is um, and to be honest at the moment I'm not having much luck so if I break it I'd rather break it on a video I wouldn't want to break it at all don't get me wrong but I'd rather break it on a video and uh, I don't know why to be fair just I suppose so people can see um, how much of an effort I go to getting these videos out so you get to see these figures that I don't think I think this is a world premiere as well I don't think anybody's reviewed genuine version of this particular figure what i mean by that is i presume there's been a ko of this uh, but i don't think anybody's done a review um of this original one so there we go that's why i want to get this out i've had quite a few questions in fact loads regarding this particular figure so it's nice for you to see him and I suppose it's nice for him to have some screen, well, not some screen time, but just to be shared. Because the only time I'd ever seen this until getting one myself was pictures on TF Wiki. And they aren't the greatest, to be honest. So articulation wise, you can just move the arms up and down. Let's be honest, guys, there's no other forms of articulation there at all. As I said, his gun is exactly the same, even though for some reason on the box, um, it's not. It's a, they've, they've got the wrong one, completely the wrong one. Uh, the names which they've changed them to, you know, they're not the most inventive. As I say, he's called Fly Up. Hotspot, which is a red fire engine, was called Fire Chief. <laughs> um, yeah, they've got some quite funny names, whereas some of the Japanese names are quite inventive. But these ones, they don't seem to be um, at all. If you're wondering how big he is, guys, he's tiny compared to today's figures. Um, let's give you an idea. With a deluxe, with a Voyager, with another small deluxe. And then funnily enough, where's he gone? There's my core class figure. So these are smaller than what's standard 
uh, core class figures are now. So yeah, nice and small. But the best thing about these figures is that they were what's referred to as scramble city figures, which means that you can do it. You can scramble all the limbs. So even though in the picture we've got the motorbike, the ambulance, etc., as legs, you could mix and match them, which is why these figures were indeed so much fun. You can, of course, as well attach all of the accessories when in robot mode uh, to power them up, which of course does look really good i think that looks great to be honest i do really like that um but then i suppose there's one other mode which is his combined mode and this is the scary one because it's all to do with bringing this down ever so carefully like so i'm not going to attach them i'm going to take them off and then what you would do i haven't got oh, i have got the fist to hand and a bumblebee rod you would attach that and there you go. Of course, this would come over as well. And that would be his arm. So there you go. If you want to see the full combining video, in fact, I'll put a link to it in the description um, and you will get to see him very briefly on his A to Z own appearance as well, as well as the rest of the guys from the team being uploaded. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed looking at him. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Take care.